YouTube. So this is my very first tutorial. I am super excited. I'm also a little nervous, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Christina McKay. I am what they call a vehicle graphic designer. And basically what I do, I produce artwork to put on cars and not just any cars, but I work on a lot of exotic vehicles, uh, such as like Lamborghinis, uh, Porsches, um, McLarens. I mean, you name it, I've probably done it. So the point of this is that I really want to be teaching. I want to be teaching my craft. I want to be showing the tips and tricks that I know so that we all can like really become better designers. Um, so in this particular tutorial, what I'm going to be showcasing is how to make a rendering of a car that looks very, very sleek so that you can give that over to your client so that you as a designer are looking very, very professional. So again, my very first video, please be kind, please comment, please subscribe, please let me know how I'm doing. And uh, yeah, let's just dive in. Hey guys, so just as a quick recap, um, basically what I'm going to be showing you is how to create a realistic looking 3D vehicle so that you can send something like this over to your clients. Um, in my opinion, having something that looks very professional makes you look professional, makes you look high end, makes you look high quality, like you actually know what you're doing and that you're really a uh, qualified designer to get the job done right. Um, you know, in my experience, there's been a lot of vehicle wraps, uh, a lot of proofs, a lot of things that I've seen. Um, this one in particular, it was done in, I'm pretty sure, well, this one's in Corel Draw, as you can see, but the template, um, it's from a website called blueprints.com. Um, and it's just a very flat template. I mean, you do have the proper measurements, I'm sure it's to scale, but everything is just very flat. It's just a hand-drawn flat. There's no 3D dimension. Um, there's no highlights. There's no shadows. There's no. There's no nothing with it. It doesn't look like a like an actual car. So for me to um, to compare it to something like this, this you know, um, this just looks a little bit more visually appealing. And uh, for this particular client. Um, you know, he was someone that I really, really wanted to impress. Um, let me see. Yeah, so I got this artwork up here. Um, this was for Swiss Beats for his Poison album that he just released uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and basically what he wanted to see was the album cover on his car, and he wanted to see an actual rendering of the vehicle. Um, so again, um, you know, if you don't know who Swiss Beats is, he's, he's a record producer, he's a DJ, um, he's a rapper. I mean, he's worked with like celebrities like Jay-Z, Beyonce, like, um, you know, he, he's probably done it all. Um, also he's married to Alicia Keys, who I absolutely love, but, um, yeah, that's besides the point. I just really wanted to impress him with this vehicle rap. And, um, you know, I think, you know, even if you're not trying to impress a celebrity, uh, with your raps, um, and you're just starting off, um, still like it doesn't matter you want the end goal is to always impress your client and I think having something like this just shows that that you you really are a professional and this is why I want to teach this because seeing templates like this even though I know it might be a great you know tutorial in Corel Draw um, this to me doesn't scream high-end um, it just seems very generic let's get it out the door let's get it done um, but if you put in the extra work the extra time and I'm going to show you ways that you can, you know, cut that time in half um, so that you can have some really nice renderings. Um, this is definitely a tutorial for you, so keep watching. Um, again, another very flat template. I mean, it just, I, I mean, like looking at this, like I know there's a bumper here. I know like this recessed area like that, that there's curves there. There's, there's body lines that you can't even see on a very flat texture. And this is why I hate, I hate these templates so much. Um, this one was of a Lamborghini, and I thought this one would be a good example because I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a very realistic Lamborghini. And Lamborghinis, I find they're they're a little bit more difficult because they're just when you're looking at it from a side-on angle, you can't really see the curves, you can't see the angles, how much this goes in depth. Um, so this one I think is a step up from this, but at the same time, I can't really see what's going on. There's 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 no shape to it. There's no. It's just a very flat design. Um, nothing against the design. Love the design. It's just I I can't tell 
where all this is going to meet, where it's going to curve. Um, you know, I think there's a door handle here. Um, this was actually what landed me the job with Swiss Beats. Um, this was actually given to him as a rendering. Um, and again, like when you look at this, it's just uh, like I can say like, yeah, this is to scale, um, but I can't really tell where everything's going to land and if it's going to land very nicely. Um, so this is why I think going the extra mile um, doing it this way, I mean, I can see the curves, I can see the highlights, I can see how this is going to wrap around. Um, and for an installer, if you're going to send him a proof, um, you know, he's going to see how this is probably going to land. So I'm going to show you guys all this, and we're going to do it on a Lamborghini. So again, I'm just going to show you from the ground up, I'm going to show you how to research the car, I'm going to show you how to cut out the car, um, this is all going to be in Photoshop. So um, if you want to learn it in Illustrator, um, you know, I'm, I can teach it in Illustrator. It's just it's a bit more time consuming. But let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. But for now, for this tutorial, it's all going to be strictly in Photoshop. I'm going to show you the layers. I'm going to show you how to, um, you know, do it all. So yeah, just excited. Um, this is my first tutorial. So I uh, want to know your guys' feedback and uh, let me know how I did. Okay, let's get started. Thanks, guys.